1900 era uh, Stanley steam engine. This, the design was perfected about a hundred years before that. So the design right now is uh, well over 200 years on this. This is what people think of when a person says steam engine. They think of, they think of something like this. You've got a piston in here which goes back and forth and it's double acting. It'll have steam from this head pushing this way, then it'll have steam from this head pushing that way. It has a slide valve, also known as a D valve. You can see the slot here which lets the steam into the cylinder. This is called the steam chest right here. It has a plate with a gasket that's bolted over the top. Steam comes into it from here. So this is full of hot, high pressure steam. This D valve slides back and forth and it will open this valve and let steam in. It has a hollow D right in here. And so the exhaust steam goes out through a different opening and there's another intake steam there, intake steam here. So the ports are open to the steam chest for intake steam. You cannot see where the exhaust steam goes uh, because that goes out somewhere else, but it doesn't come out through this. So here's what a D-slide valve looks like. Uh, much less efficient uh, for many reasons than a poppet valve. Uh, only half as good as a piston valve. Bessler used piston valves. The other people use poppet valves. But this is what people think of as a steam engine. And they think that you have to have a double acting steam engine. And it has to have a cross head, uh, which we're not seeing here, because the piston, the piston valve goes back and forth. So you have a cross head here that holds this so it doesn't flop up and down. And the piston's on the other end of these. And it has, quite obviously, an open frame, uh, open bearings, and your crankshaft is here, and these are your big, big bearings are here holding the crankshaft. Uh, you always, with these old engines, you always have them uh, set up on a 45, no, excuse me, a 90 degree, uh, crankshaft so that they are self-starting. There are many conveniences to this design and they were quite good for many years for what they were doing and they were so good that they replaced what now we have diesel engines and hydrostatic transmissions. They were able to replace all of that but the thermal efficiency was absolutely terrible and there were just all kinds of reasons and uh, it would take a book to explain all the reasons why this is a poor uh, thermodynamic, thermal efficiency uh, design. But it was cheap to make. It was enormously practical. It was very slow moving, high torque. And back before they had uh, Diesels and hydraulics, this was the only way to get good, slow-moving power.